everyone, it's Lindsay. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you guys the items that we have picked up for our second baby as well as just share any ideas on what to put on a registry if you are a first time mom, maybe second time mom. I definitely watched quite a bit of these videos because I get really overwhelmed when it comes to registries. So hopefully this video is helpful. Maybe you guys get some ideas. I feel like this is gonna be a long video, so let's get into it. Also, I do recommend if you are putting together a registry, Amazon is really great because they do give you that like 15% off completion discount to help you be able to purchase the other items that you have on your registry. Even though like I'm not doing a sprinkle for this baby, I still put together a registry on Amazon so I can get a discount code. I'm gonna first start off by saying that we aren't buying a lot of the big like baby items we're not going to be buying like a new crib or a stroller fortunately my daughter outgrew a lot of that stuff so we don't really need to buy that one of the items that we do need to get that is bigger is a bassinet but we are planning on borrowing from family and friends but moving on to the items that we have picked up there aren't a whole lot yet but these are just like the smaller items that we have picked up. So starting off with the more fun items, I wanted to share with you guys a couple clothes that I have picked up. Ugh, I just love buying baby clothes, but I got this um, like newborn set from I think Marshalls or TJ Maxx, one of those, but it's mermaid theme and I got it on clearance which is why I picked it up. And then it has like little mermaid pants with footies. And then it comes with a little mermaid shirt to go over and a hat. And I just thought it was so cute. I actually feel like we don't have as many newborn clothes. And I know that people recommend not buying a lot of newborn clothes just in case they're like, they come out not that small and fitting into the newborn clothes. But I did want to pick up at least a few newborn clothes because we did use that with Cami and we ended up not saving a whole lot of it because I think a whole lot of them got like kind of grubby. And then I picked up the sleeper that to be honest was a little bit of a splurge but the sleeper that I ended up getting is from Little Crown and Capes and I think it is so cute. The print of this is Wizard of Oz theme. I also picked up a set of bows. This was on clearance at Target for like two bucks so I decided to pick it up but I picked this up because I wanted to do a nice hospital photo of the baby I picked up a printed swaddle and I didn't have any bows that matched the swaddle next item that we picked up that we really needed was a new diaper pail if you're questioning a diaper pail I highly highly recommend it the one that we had originally ended up breaking and it broke towards the end of Cammy's like diaper pull-up phase so we didn't really feel the need to buy a new one we really like it we actually saved some of the like refill bags and we found the same diaper pail on Facebook marketplace in super great condition it honestly feels like it's brand new we found it for like half the cost of what it normally retails for so I highly recommend checking out Facebook marketplace if you guys are looking for baby stuff because I have realized that a lot of people when it comes to baby things they'll they just want it out if their kids aren't using it so some of the things that they sell is like gently use or brand new and you can get it for much more of a discounted price so very happy we found that diaper pail for a good deal next item that we ended up getting this was actually a gift but it is the hatch sound machine now i wanted a new sound machine because the one that we have it's like a nightlight and a sound machine combo i just really didn't love i got it from like tj maxx or marshall's or something for like 12 bucks but it has a timer on it that you can't adjust and it only lasts for like 10 minutes so i would always have to keep like going in and like pressing the timer because it would stop very quickly and it kind of like wake our daughter up so i wanted something that would last a bit longer and i do like that this is controlled by an app you can change the color of it i thought that this was an item that would benefit both kids we also ended up getting some new bottles i ended up getting the medela bottles because 
um, that goes with the breast pump that I am planning on using and we also got the Philips Avent bottles. Those are the two brands that we used with our daughter and I'm hoping that this baby will be fine with those bottles. But moving on to the items that we are planning on picking up or I just think are good to add to a registry, especially if you're a second time mom. First thing is a new crib sheet. Now, we actually did save the crib sheets that we used, but I wanted to get a new one because this baby and my daughter Cammy will be sharing a room and I just wanted one that matched my daughter's bedding a little bit more. I feel like it's a little bit frivolous, but that's just the creative like designer perfectionist in me that just wants it to match a little bit more. Next item that is much more of a must have for us is a new mattress protector. The one that we had for Cammy ended up breaking. We just didn't pick up a new mattress protector because that was like towards the end of when she was really using like her toddler bed. We got one of those cribs that can convert to like the toddler bed and then the full-size bed. In terms of feeding, we added on to the list to get a set of new bowls and plates and utensils. Nothing wrong with the ones that we have. The ones that we have, Cami still uses it and they just go really quickly. The plates that I was looking at from Amazon is the Wee Sprout plates. I really like it because they have suction cups at the bottom so your baby won't hopefully knock it down. We didn't have that with Cami, so I wanna try it out and see how well it works. And I also like the colors of the plates. I think they're really pretty. The utensils that she did use are pretty grubby though, so I did want to replace those. This next one, I feel like they didn't have this when Cami was around, but I marked this as a must have because I wish that she had it. And it's just this baby bib that looks pretty much like a hazmat suit. When it comes to eating, I like getting the bibs that make the least amount of mess and I feel like this one is the trick. In regards to nursing, I am planning on breastfeeding and breast pumping and I do need to repurchase some breast pump parts. I also added to the list a new boppy pillow cover. I didn't think about it until like today when I was watching someone else's like haul video and I thought that was a great idea. Nothing wrong with the boppy that we have. I do like the print but I did feel like this was a really good idea to get because like Cami did spit up on the bobby and you'd have to take off the cover and wash it and everything and I always think that it's good to have just have a backup so you can just easily switch it out. In terms of diapering, we are planning on picking up fresheners for the diaper pail, also a tube of new butt paste and like the paddle to apply the butt paste with. We did use both with our daughter and I didn't save the like applicator. I feel like you can go either way, you could keep it, but I understand if someone doesn't want to keep it because it goes to the butt, but I ended up getting rid of it because it's not that expensive of a product and I'm like whatever, I'll just repurchase a new one. But I did add those to the list to get. Also picking up some travel like garbage bag for the diapers that go in your diaper bag. I really like the Munchkin one. That's the one that we used for Cami, and we ended up using it quite a bit when we were out and about and I really like these bags because they do mask up the odor. And of course we're planning on picking up just a pack of diapers and wipes. This one I feel like is always so hard even when it comes to like putting on a registry because you just don't know how your baby is going to react to certain brands. So we're just planning on picking up a box of Pampers. Moving on to the cleaning slash organizational category, I do have a few things on there. The first one is a set of new hangers. Again, the baby will be sharing a room with Cami and they will be sharing a closet. So I just thought it would be nice to get a set of hangers. We're also planning on buying cleaning brushes for the bottles. We did use this quite a bit when we were using bottles. So definitely need to pick up a new set again. And then the last thing that I have for this category is a stain remover. Now I have seen 
this one on Instagram. People talk about this all the time and they swear by it and I've never tried it. So I really wanted to try it, not just for the baby, but also for my daughter <laughs> because I'm so tired of trying to clean out the stains from their clothes. Moving on more towards the baby care category. First item that I put on there is a set of new pacifiers. I didn't want to get a whole lot of pacifiers just because I don't want this baby to be using the pacifier for that long. I also put on there the banana toothbrush teether. I definitely feel like it's a must have. It's great for when they're brushing their teeth and Cammy really like this. I also put on here a bottle of lotion. We have used Noodle & Boo in the past and I do like that it's a pretty big bottle. And then last for this category, I did put in a pack of Tylenol because we definitely used Tylenol in the past. All right, I got a few more items items for this video. The first one I'm going to talk about is this water mat for tummy time. Now, I saw one of my friends have this for her daughter and even Cammie thought it was really cool. She was like playing with it. But I thought it was a really great idea and it's not as pricey so I wanted to pick it up for this baby. I also put on here a two pack of wet bags. I saw Jessica Braun mention this in her video and I thought it was such a great idea that I marked it as a must-have and I am 100% planning on buying this because I just thought it was such a great idea. But it is really nice, like especially if you're out and about and your kid has an accident, you have a bag to put this in. And then the last two items on the list are just a couple of teethers. Truthfully, I don't know if we are going to pick up these ones. We have been gifted with a couple of teethers already, but if you don't have any, I think that they're good to put on the list. And those were all the items that I wanted to talk about today. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it and found it helpful. If you have any recommendations, please comment them below. I would love to know and I'm sure that would help other people watching this video as well. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys!